Well, that's a fun tune to play, the uh, Moana Chimes. It's actually one of the very first slack key tunes I learned uh, on guitar and then putting on the ukulele. It's kind of fun. I have no idea where I learned it. I can't remember. Uh, it might be like Hula Blues. I learned may have learned it from a steel guitarist. Um, the big trick with that tune, of course, is just getting those harmonics. And I got most of them up here on the 12th fret. The chimes. And you got a big jump there. Uh, not quite as big on the ukulele. That's, uh, that's a big jump. So that's the first part, and then you go to the bar here. You can do a lot of different things on that fret. You can, on that fifth fret lick, you can go. Or you can go on a little bluesier sound. And then a nice variation you can do on the uh, on the first part of the tune, the A part of the tune, is instead of playing uh, the harmonic lick for the second half of it, you go for the first half, you go. something like that. So gives you a little a little room to, uh, to improvise there. B part of the tune, the way I learned it, starts with the harmonics on the 12th fret. This nice little uh, uh, chord up here on uh, 14, 13, and 12. A lot of variations on how you can pick that. You can go. Or. Or. Or some variation like that. Come back to the. Come back to the harmonic. Then it's got this funny. The way I learned it. It's got this funny little bit. Where you're doing this descending lick. Starting out the 11th to the 12th fret. And if you're counting. What happens is you get a measure, you, you, you drop two beats uh, somewhere along the line to make it all work out right, and it'll drive your accompaniment crazy, trust me. So that whole little lick. You notice that you can't count that in straight four. The first one's the first measure is two four, and then everyone's four four after that, or the first one's six four, and everyone's four four after that, depending on how you want to look at it. But it's just kind of this nice little uh, thing that breaks it up. Now I've heard it played straight with uh, with those extra two beats, but I think it's a lot more fun with the uh, with the odd the odd uh, measures in there. Well, one of the things I did in the uh, at the intro was I did this funny little kind of improvised uh, free time introduction to the tune before I started playing it. And that's one of the things that's really, really adds a lot of, uh, of depth to your, to your plan uh, is how you make, is how you create an intro to a song. You could just start this tune right at the top. You know, you could just go one, two, three, four, one, and start playing. It's kind of boring, but you can do it. You could do a turnaround to get into it. And so on. Um, one thing that I like to do a lot as an intro is just do a very slow turnaround, a kind of a free time. Start playing the tune. Um, 
what I did at the beginning of this one was I just took some of these double stop positions and added notes full, to make full chords out of them. So if you can see that, I've got a finger on the 1st string 12th fret, 2nd string 12th fret, 3rd string 11th fret, and I'm just doing a little rolling motion with my thumb and fingers. Taking it down, the whole thing down two frets. Then down to this double stop, kind of your home position at 9, 8, 7. Nice C chord there. And from there you can keep going if you wanted to, or you can go right to a Throw in some chimes. And then start tuning. Uh, the ending I did on the tune was actually pretty simple. It just came down after my second turnaround. Just from the third to the fourth fret on the on the on the third string. That's kind of a nice way to get the tune over. It's those simple little things that you start adding to your playing that really add a whole lot of uh, depth, as I said, depth and color, and makes it a lot more fun for you, certainly, and, uh, and for your listeners, too. All right, see you next time.